Sky's the limit. So anyway, after dinner, I have to go to the bathroom, and I go in the bathroom, and when I come out of the bathroom, I see him standing by the door. And he looks unusually nervous. And I'm looking at the waiter, and the waiter's standing by our table, kind of flapping the check, you know, on the table. He's, he's kind of pointing at the check, you know? And I'm looking at Axel, and I go up to him, and I said, listen, what's going on? I, did you pay the check? And he goes, I have Will you help me wrap said, the presents? Money, Axel, you said you were paying for everything. What do you mean? Okay. He made me not bring any money with me. I said, what do you mean you have no money? Anyway, next thing I know, we're running down the streets of Tucson being chased by this wa our waiter, who was, it was this 50-year-old guy, but he was like me. I was thinking about what you said. What did I say? That I was supposed to be with you. Could you hand me that tape? Yeah. yeah. You know, when I first met her, I, I felt something kind of strong. I didn't know what it was, you know? I, I didn't know what to call it. Now everything has kind of turned around, and she's like, uh, she's like this cloud that I can see through. And on the other side, I see you. And I feel something very strong. I think I know what to call it. Does that make any sense? Could you put your finger here for a second? Yeah. What do you think? About what? About us kind of belonging together. What about this land? Do you think Paul will like this land? Yeah, he'll, he'll love it. What do you think? I think two wrongs don't make a right. Meaning what? Meaning us. Two wrongs. What if we're not? What if we're two rights and everybody else is wrong? Ugh. Either way, we're gonna be screwed, Axel. But at least we can be screwed together. Oh. I wish I could take you with me. Let's go. Let's go right now. No trains, no planes, no fucking doors. We'll go right out the window. I, I have to take care of some business, though. The house? Yes. Last night in my dream, I'm standing in the middle of the desert, and my house is tied around my neck, and my body is breaking under its weight, and it's engulfed in flames, and the flames are climbing up the rope and they they almost reach my neck and right before they do I wake up and I know I know that I have to get rid of this house I want you to promise me something what that when you're done with all this house stuff we can go away come on come on Yeah, I promise.